morning. So I'm currently waiting for my husband to tell me where the hell the baby detergent is because I can't find it. But yeah, I'm going to do laundry. It's about 9.25 a.m. I'm waiting for the baby to wake up. And then I'm going downstairs to do laundry. I have a jam-packed day because today is my job's holiday party and it's a big deal. It's hosted at the Marriott Hotel in Times Square. It's on like several floors. It's thousands of people. I need to find my outfit, do my hair, get Michael ready and drop him off at Grandma's. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I have to do. So first I need to do Michael's laundry though. So I'm about to head out. I'm getting ready at my in-laws house because Jenna is going to watch the baby while we're at the holiday party because Abubakar and I work for the same company. So we're both going to be at the holiday party. You see yeah, yeah, the dilemma. But um, yeah, Michael's being a little fussy. Pumpkin, are you going to be nice to Auntie Jenna? Huh? Yeah, but I'm going to call my Uber now and then head on over. <laughs> We don't have to talk to Mike anymore. Oh my gosh. My old desk. Do, 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 do. This is where I work. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Say hello, Mike. Hello. I totally forgot about it. Squad. Squad. We're about to walk to the holiday party. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Jenaba said he was a good boy, so I'm happy to hear that. Thanks, Jenaba, for always having our back. I realized that I never showed you guys how I look today, but I just had that beaded jacket on, the one that I got from Boohoo, and a black shirt and some leggings and boots. Uh, I look a little crazy right now because, well, I've been sweating at that party, but it was a good time. Did you have a good time, babe? It was really good. I normally don't, I normally don't do parties, but it was good. I'm yeah. glad you I don't, I don't, I don't do parties. Not to, I'm sorry, I just don't do parties. Well, he's making us some hot cocoa. I have to edit still for the vlog that's going up today. But I was happy to hear you guys liked my story time that I posted yesterday. Um, I had fun filming it, reminiscing on times when I was just a badass kid in these streets. But yeah, let me just edit and then I'll be back. Hopefully, you know, sometimes I'll be saying I'll be back and then I don't be back. So I'll let you know if I'll be back. If not, see you guys tomorrow. Guys, I cannot wait, cannot wait until Vlogmas is over. And I mean that with love. Vlogging and editing every day when you have a newborn. Like, I don't know how these daily family vloggers do it, but I cannot. Like, I am exhausted all the time like i had a little rhythm going but like i'm on day 20 now like 20 days in a row of this first of all like i'm proud of myself i have not skipped a beat i post every single day except for that error i refuse to be penalized for that i refuse to be penalized but it's been interesting i'm glad that i'm documenting these last few days because i do go back to work on the second and can't say I'm excited about that. Going to the work party today just like reminded me that the winter is coming. And by winter I mean work. I will be there. I'll definitely vlog my first day back to work because I feel like that's going to be <laughs> some good watching. It's just going to be me crying in various locations. Like crying at my house, crying on the train, crying at my desk, crying over my lunch. But I'm sure you guys will like to see that. You guys have been this far with me. I also feel like vlogging this much. I haven't been able to do any other content. I've been losing a lot of subscribers, probably the ones who subscribe to me for things outside of my vlogs, but I don't have time to vlog and do other content and edit everything and post it. Like I just don't have the time. So once vlogs is over, I'll go back to putting out some other content in addition to my vlogs. Another thing that's weighing on me is that since I'm going to be moving into my parents' house in February, 
I need to tell my mom about my channel. And I'm scared. She's my best friend on this earth. And I feel like I am hiding a huge part of my life. And I know that she is going to think it's weird. And she's going to be confused. And she's going to want to know if she's in any of the videos. And if she is, she's going to want them taken down. <laughs> but I'm going to be living there. And if I have to film or edit, like, there's no way I can do that, like, on the low. Like, I can't low-key be filming. Like, she's going to be like, who are you talking to? You know? And I have so much footage of Michael. Like, he literally grew up on here. And I know she would want to see it. So I just, I just feel like I'm holding out. And I, I don't want to do that. So maybe I'll do that over the holidays. So she has like a month to like let that sink in. And she'll be in a chipper mood. And you know everything will be good. Maybe I'll show her that video montage I made. For Michael's one year conceivaversary. Maybe that'll get her a little weepy eyed. And then she'll like you know see past all the things that she thinks is weird about it. <laughs> I guess it is weird having a YouTube channel. Just like putting your business out there to people that you don't really know. But I feel like I know you guys, you know, as someone who watches YouTube and also as someone who posts on YouTube, I feel like you get to know the people on the other side of the camera. For example, there's many of you that I feel like I know on a level where I could say we are friends. Like I feel like comfortable enough to the people that I talk to regularly via YouTube, like Melanie J, Sylvia, like perfect examples. Like I talk to them probably every single day. I would consider you guys to be my friends. And not, not limited to just those two. Those are just the first two that came to my head. Now, I also love to watch YouTubers. So like, I'm like a beauty junkie. So I like Jackie Ina and Nima Tang and all of them. I watch them all the time and I feel like I know them. So to me, it just doesn't seem that weird. I'm just like keeping you guys posted just like I do with all my friends that I have in real life. You know, I talk to my friends all the time and tell them what's going on with Michael. You know, I'm just doing the same with you guys. But it's 930. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to eat my husband's ice cream. It's worth getting yelled at. It's worth getting yelled at every time. I know you're wondering when I'm going to go back on my diet. Mind your business. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow.